Hello everyone, I'm NJ Cali. Welcome to the channel. Today, I got some work that needs to get done. I changed my mind about my family's mini food forest and what I want to be doing this growing season that's coming up. We got some beds to move, we got some soil to replenish, and then also we got, get, we got to get our garlic bed prepped because it's time to prep and plant direct so or garlic and also little NJ I might get him to help me out as well we'll see let's go one of the things I have done is basically over the weekend and for the last couple of days I've been working in our mini food forest is basically I'm transitioning um, taking things out I'm repurposing the soil that was in that grow bag uh, raised bed grow bag and I added to certain some of the containers that you would kind of see one of the things I did do was pot, finally pot up our mini our uh, panini uh, melon here uh, let me check the soil down it looks dry but let me stick down a little bit uh, it's okay it got it has one more day so I'm leaving it alone and then I did water this ice cream bean um, seedling here uh, it is doing okay so far as the temps has been in the 90s today and then this bed here I, uh, I found two random seedlings one here and one here as my fingers like right there so I don't know what those are but they just uh, they germinated and uh, so that's so that is that but I have to go ahead and get my uh, one of my beds um, prepped for garlic because we we have some time to get that done but let me just show you um matter of fact let me go ahead and just get that bed done right now All right, everyone, so that was the garlic bed. We have 90 days, which is three months, in my growing zone, Zone 9B, Central Valley, California, to start our garlic. And I'm going to show you in another video of what um, that looks like and what I do after getting my bed prepped, as you just saw just recently, um, how I actually get my garlic to germinate and make bulbs. Now, 
this will be my, I think my second year on growing my own sea garlic of my own. And so I'm happy about it. And so all the garlic that I did harvest, we, we did not consume it all of the 12, I think, I think I had eight bulbs. I think I have four left that I kept. I gotta go look um, in my um, inventory. And what I'm gonna do is show you how to supercharge your garlic now to get it started. Uh, so let me go ahead and just show you some other things that I have to do. All right, so, so one of the things I have to do is get this soil <laughs> when this tree goes dormant this is our center of the plump looking all healthy and whatnot so far thank god and add it to this container cut back the roots and then also after we harvest our potatoes we're going to move these two grow bags and put them over in the back unfortunately we're going to come over here tell you all what's going on over here um this was our <laughs> azalea and it's a story about how this happened for a very long time this azalea was fine in this this area but i got a story to tell y'all stay tuned for that and uh our tree collar my red tree collar is doing great thus far but i want to show y'all something that that is that i'm excited about well, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait.